Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the eighth anniversary of his accession to the throne in Saudi Arabia. His Majesty wished King Salman abundant health and happiness in the Saudi Arabia, further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty hailed Saudi Arabia's role in serving the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations and the developmental achievements in various fields. He highlighted the deep-rooted fraternal relations between the two countries and people, and the development of growth. They witness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the eighth anniversary of his accession to the throne in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his best wishes to the custodian of the two holy mosques and Saudi Arabia's continued progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness commended Saudi Arabia's important contributions in supporting Arab and Islamic affairs. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted the depth of historical relations between the two kingdoms and their people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a cable or a similar cable to His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the Prime Minister of the Republic of Iraq, Mohammed Shaya Al Sudani, on the winning of the confidence vote of the Iraqi Parliament for his cabinet. His Royal Highness expressed sincere congratulations on this occasion and wished him and his government success and for the people of the Brotherly Republic of Iraq for their progress and development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Sweden Ulf Kristersson on his collection of the Prime as Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister expressed his best wishes of success to Ulf Kristersson on his duties as Prime Minister and wished Sweden and its people continued progress and prosperity. Chairman of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and Chairman of the Real Estate Regulatory Agency, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed the keenness to redouble efforts to launch more projects that would contribute to improving the quality of services provided to citizens and residents constantly and accordingly to the highest standards in line with the pace of development and progress and supports the objectives of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and an implementation of the continuous directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that the Survey and Land Registration Authority is keen to adopt the best advanced technologies and keep pace with the development and modernization process, especially with regard to employing advanced technology in all operations and providing services in a manner that facilitates procedures for citizens, applicants, customers, and beneficiaries of services provided. He said that as of November 1, 2022, the process of registration of real estate transactions will be carried out electronically in all stages as the owners of registration requests will be able to conduct their transactions electronically by entering the electronic system ERWS which is a program available on the website of the Survey and Land Registration Authority and then enter all the data and this includes the process of paying administrative and registration fees. The Higher Education Council has announced the provision of a licensing service for the establishment of a private higher education institution through the commercial record system sigillat of the Ministry of Industry and Trade electronically without the need for the applicant to be present. The Secretary General and Deputy Chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Sheikh Harana bin Isa bin Taj Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Council seeks to digitalize all the services it provides to higher education institutions in a way that enhances and facilitates the quality of government services provided. She added that the electronic service will contribute to reducing the time and effort for investors wishing to open a higher education institution in addition to displaying all the requirements needed for opening an institution. She also added that this, that this method will provide a communication channel between investors and the Higher Education Council and respond to inquiries and comments from the beneficiaries of the service. Binance, the leading global blockchain service provider, announced the launch of Binance.ph, a new and fully regulated platform where users can access Binance's full range of products and services, including direct deposits and withdrawals in local currencies. The chief executive at the Bahrain Economic Development Board, Khad Hamidan, stated that Bahrain's strong commitment to crypto assets and fintech investment is long-standing and expressed pleasure to see Binance reaching different milestones in Bahrain. Hamidan underscored the launch of Binance.ph 
state reaffirming or reaffirming Bahrain's position as a leading hub for crypto services and fintech innovations, not just in the region but around the world. The regional head of Europe, Mina Binance, Richard Teng, stated that the Kingdom of Bahrain's forward-thinking perspectives towards crypto assets industry has been an excellent experience and it is fantastic that Binance can play a part in addressing the local population's keen interest to be on the cutting edge of financial innovation. The Kingdom of Bahrain participated in the leading annual conference for Microsoft IT developers and professionals which was held in Seattle, USA. The conference was attended by a wide range of technology professionals during the conference. The Kingdom of Bahrain reviewed its experience in adopting and activating a cl the cloud computing services or policy since 2017 and its provisions of government services through the national cloud, Cloud First. In addition, the role of the Information and E-Government Authority was highlighted in completing the process of total transition of government institutions to work within the cloud computing computing environment. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning received a delegation of the House of Representatives and Senate employees from the United States of America as part of their visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. During the visit, the delegation was briefed on the housing achievements in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and the housing plans and programs implemented by the government to provide social housing for citizens, especially the housing projects of Bahrain cities. The U.S. Congress delegation praised the efforts of the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain to establish integrated housing cities that provide citizens with a safe and environment that enhances the elements of quality of life, noting that the Salman city model reflects the concept of urban projects that achieve the principles of sustainability. U.S. Congress delegation visit Salman city. The president of Al Azhar University, Dr. Salama Dawood, praised the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in spreading the values of tolerance, coexistence, and dialogue and promoting security and peace. Dr. Salama affirmed that the prospective visit of the Grand Imam of Al Azhar, chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, His Eminence Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, to Bahrain next month to participate in the Bahrain Forum for Dialogue, which will be held under the patronage of His Majesty the King, coincides with the historic official visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to the Kingdom is considered an essential step on the path of dialogue between the East and West. He said the visit reflects the growing and influential role of the greatest Islamic institutions in the world to spread peace and achieve religious coexistence across the world. Dr. Salama Dawood commended the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its constant approach of promoting interfaith dialogue and coexistence in cooperation with Al-Azhar Al-Sharif, the Catholic Church, the Muslim Council of Elders and a number of international institutions. He stressed the great interest accorded by His Eminence Dr. Tayyip to humanitarian issues as well as promoting peace and coexistence between all people. He lauded the efforts of the Muslim Council of Elders in launching the East and West Dialogue initiatives to foster dialogue and tolerance and enhance cooperation between people. Around 200 prominent religious personalities are taking part in the Bahrain Forum for Dialogue which will convene on November 3rd and 4th alongside prominent intellectual and media personalities.